Well, gosh, that pause to clear the decks after the earth signs t accidentally turned into, um, let's just hit the stop button. <laughs> so I'm going to tip back up. Hey, everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Sorry about that. Air, water, and fire signs. This will be your weekly top and bottom of the deck reading. I gotta laugh at myself. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising your Venus sign readings if you think it might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be my source. I might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. Brief pause. Temperance just popped out. How are things flowing? How's the energy? Is it positive? You being patient with yourselves? Are things good? This little Queen of Swords here says not so much. I feel like something about to go down. I don't know. Could be, could be not. At least a very honest conversation is about to take place. It might clear out some bad energy and bring in some good energy. Or the good energy might be fixing to leave. I don't know. Don't know. Everybody's always welcome at my table, though. If you're new here, I think we're going to vibe and stuff. Think you want to come back and hang out some more? You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. You should come back by more often. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the messages. So, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're next. I'm going to tip back down. We're going to get it done. Four of Wands. Doors may be opening. You might be connecting with your twin flame if that's your thing. Nine of Pentacles. I'm feeling open door because this says you're still single and you're enjoying being single and you're okay being single. But maybe money is just good. I don't know. Okay. Let's get the top and bottom energy from my air sign friends. Bring them back a golden oldie, by the way. I haven't done this top and bottom spread in a while. Let's see how it goes. King of Swords, there it is, there it is. Page ones. All right. Who are my air signs dealing with? Who are my air signs dealing with? Talk to me about who the air signs are dealing with. Cycle of change coming. Feels it might get it might be quick and abrupt and cold and icy. Or it was. Maybe an icy cycle is gonna come to an end. Wheel of fortune, things are looking up. Very nice. Seven of 
Y'all ain't on the same page at all, are you? Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's definitely some anxious energy going on here. I'm leaving that there. We'll address that in a second. Why the Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands? Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups, Three of Cups. Ah, okay. You kicked the ball around about whether to maybe approach someone, possibly return to someone's life. I just can't really see it on the camera, but she's looking this way, looking this way, looking this way, looking up, weighing options, facing toward this way. Whoever you're dealing with went through it. And I feel like it was sudden and abrupt, possibly avoidable, but there was heartache here. There was a completion of a cycle that ended in heartbreak. Possibly a pretty serious argument where there was a harsh exchange of words, but it was definitely a life-changing event. They're still processing. Talk to me about this Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Will of Fortune came back out. Okay. One more on that. It gave me two. You've known this person a while. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You've missed this person. You want to resurrect something. You're, you're in a place emotionally where you're good and you're stable and feel like you have something to offer this person. I feel like they might want to explore other options at this time because they're still, they're still nursing a heartache. They want a connection, but not quite sure if they necessarily want to take your cup or not. Just being real. Just being real. But whatever you've gone through in the past, you're through it enough to be able to start a new relationship again and make somebody an offer. 
And I feel like you want to resurrect something with the, this person because you've dealt with them before. One of the two of cups, knight of cups for their side for the current energy. Hanged man. Nine of wands. There. Hung up, walled up. The two of cups is here. They want to, but their walls are up. They want to. The potential's there. But their walls are up. Or they could be interested in someone else or in a connection with someone else. Not necessarily serious because that Knight of Cups is pointed away from you. Just throwing that out there. Seven of Cups is the card of options, so. Okay. Talk to me about this Five of Swords Hierophant down here because this is what's about to go down. King of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. Page of Cups. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. You might want to watch your approach. I get that you want commitment. Don't turn this into an ultimatum or an argument. I kind of feel like that's what this is going to turn into. They're still very closed off. They're still very anxious. I need one more on this. Ten of swords. There's, they need to, okay. They need to process this. They need to process this. It feels like I can't give you my cup because I'm not okay. One more on this page of cups, king of swords. Queen of cups. They're not perceptive to it. They're not. They're not ready for your cup, quite frankly. They're just not ready. Strength at the bottom of the deck. You might want to hold back a little bit. Okay, I'm I'm actually gonna pause this time, <laughs> and we're gonna move on to our water signs. Oh wait a minute! I didn't get a moonology. I'm a jerk. Hold on. Hold that thought. Moonology and a wisdom. What am I doing? Whoa. Conclusions are within reach. A fiery climax approaches. Oh, okay. Wisdom. Breathe. Everybody breathe today. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Full moon eclipse and just like that, 
the door a door slams shut. If you pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about Wow. It suggests that the situation you're asking is about to reach its peak or has just done so. And things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for. A way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, now know that it's the right time, as hard as it might be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be a key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. Wow. Full moon in Aries, fiery climax approaches. It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants, but you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too far or overstepped the mark, then accept on some level you've created the situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Huh. Breathe. Don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety so there is no need for tension. Savor the moment and the waiting won't be difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yeah, you've got to be patient with this person. Okay, now I'm going to pause and we will move on to our water signs. All right, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ah, whoa, too many. Oh. I'm kind of hoping these don't come back out. Shady stuff. Lies and deception, somebody demanding truth. It's going to affect a family. All right, let's hope that doesn't come back out. Page of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Somebody not wanting to let something go. Crossroads. 
Scorpio, Aries, Earth. Huh. I'm first reversed. Something can't grow because somebody can't let something go. There's combativeness and fighting right now. Nine of Cups reversed. I don't think y'all are reading out of the same book. Six of Pentacles, King of Wands. You were under the impression that everything was fine. There was a give and take. Things were moving forward. People were happy. Mmm. Full nine of wands. Full nine of wands for the other person. Temperance in the five of pentacles. Huh. Things weren't fine. One on temperance. Could have been a Sagittarius. Nine, nine of Wands is a Sagittarius card. Seven of Pentacles. Patience, patience. Someone tried to be patient. Someone felt left out in the cold. One and five pentacles. Change, 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 change. Things changed. The star. Things weren't fine. There was fighting.
possibly over someone wanting excitement and adventures. I gotta pause. The kid just woke up. Hold on. Nine of Wands came. There was fighting. Somebody was on the defensive. This is the third time the Nine of Wands has popped back out. All right. Sadness. There was sadness. The cups got spilled. You were under the impression everything was fine. Things definitely were not fine on their end. Pause again. He's going to run back through. He woke up super early. This is probably the only reading I'm going to be able to do today. That's okay. Talk to me about this five of wands, nine of wands for my water signs. Current energy. There's confrontation. There's anxiety. Maybe anxiety over confrontation. One more. Three of Pentacles, wanting to come back together, wanting to build foundations, but there's anxiety. Wanting to communicate, Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, wanting to come back together. Tower reversed, Emperor reversed. Talk to me. Talk to me. King of Swords reversed. Somebody's got an attitude problem. The Fool. Okay. Somebody wanted new ventures. Somebody wanted excitement. Somebody had been extremely patient. But so, so, whoever you're dealing with felt like change needed to happen. I got two fives. was sadness. Things needed to change. They became combative, defending their position. I don't know if this led to a complete disconnect, or if it's about to, but a tower has definitely fallen here. Things are out of control. There's rubble. There's bad attitudes. And it's over wanting excitement. One more. So let me just straight up ain't happy. Ace of Swords. Okay, so they're willing to talk. They're willing to open the lines of communication. I just don't know how good the attitude is going to be. I don't know if they think you got a bad attitude or they're the one with the bad attitude, but there's definitely some attitude stuff going on here. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. They're going in opposite directions. They're being pulled. They're being pulled. Yes, they want stability. But they want adventure, too. You may be dealing with Sagittarius. Just throwing that out there. That, that's, that's a whole mouthful of Sagittarius energy. And there's three nine... Eight of wands and three nine of wands. That screams Sag. Just throwing that out there. I could be wrong. Okay. Talk to me about this three of wands, ace of wands. Sorry. Three of wands, ace of cups. Three of Wands, Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. Three of Cups reversed. Hanged Man. Hermits. Okay. Eight 
introspection. It's time for introspection. It's time to take a step back. It may be time to disconnect for a while and just wait this out and see what happens. Because they got to do some self work. Eight of Pentacles upright, Eight of Swords reversed. If they feel like a bird in a cage, you need to let them do their self work. Something's not growing because someone feels bound. All right, Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this is salvageable. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Somebody may just need to get their mojo back, know what I'm saying? Someone may have lost a part of themselves and they need to find that again. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The opportunity is still there. The door is still open. Don't close it. You just need to give them time. You need to give them time to figure out what they want to do. All right, give me Moonology. Give me Moonology. Look at the bigger picture. Communication is key. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay. Okay. Where did my... Okay. I sat them down. I lose things. I lose things that are right in front of me all the time. Full moon in Sagittarius. What do you know? You're thinking too much about the details of your dilemma. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over... Minute? <laughs> Sorry, it's a word I've never seen. Can be counterproductive. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do, what do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. Wow. Okay, communication is key. I do not know why my brain has a hard time processing this, this booklet. I don't know why. New Moon in Gemini. A, sec a successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the New Moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too fl frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Probably. 
Nothing will come of this situation, Void Course Moon. In a form of astrology known as Harari, I really hope I pronounced that right, where an astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded, the void course moon means nothing will come of this matter, or this situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news, depending on what you're asking. For example, if you're worried about something, whatever it is, this card can be taken as a sign there's nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project of any kind, including a new relationship, it's a sign to adjust your expectations or change things so that you can get a different outcome. Remember, the card can only predict what you are currently creating, and you can change that with the, both your behavior and beliefs. All right. Oh, I didn't pull a wisdom. Give me a wisdom. Soulmates. Just kind of flew out. Number 41. Four plus one is five. Five is change. Didn't I say something about change earlier? Just throwing that out there. Okay. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love is so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate, come to guide you home to the real you. Hmm. All right. Okay, water signs, I'm going to pause, clear the decks, refill my coffee, and come back and do fire. All right, I refilled my coffee. Fire! What's going on with the Fire, Aries Leo Sag. What's going on with fire? Oh. Possibly matching each other's energies. Nobody's really expressing emotion. Stalking each other's social media because they're missing each other. I don't know. We'll see if they come out. That's just what I took out of that. I could be wrong. But if I'm right, that'd be super cool, wouldn't it? Okay. I mean, not super cool, but you know what I mean. What's going on, fire? Oh, snap. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh, snap. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fool came out. Let's see if it comes back out. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. There's swords, they're not talking. They're not ready. They're not ready. Maybe they weren't ready. Huh. Hold up. Um, just throwing this out there, fire signs, it doesn't matter how stunning the offer is. If someone isn't ready, someone isn't ready. Probably shouldn't throw out ultimatums too early on. Hi, Priestess. this goes here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Umper reversed. You didn't get what you wanted. One more. Magician reversed and manifest. Okay. Nine of Cups reversed, Justice reversed. Three of Cups reversed. Queen of Swords. Oh, snap. They were not about connecting. They're not about taking a cup. Like, to the point of bad attitude, and I'm not ready. Oh, snap. Okay. They could have been in the midst of a divorce. They could have been dealing with a legal matter. It's, I'm not all about it. I think it caused a fight. Why the lovers in the Ten of Pentacles? Five of Cups. Ten of Swords reversed. Apparently you're extremely wounded by this. You feel like you made a stunning offer and they just, no. They're like, no. Mm. Tower, Page of Pentacles reversed.
Oh yeah, no. no. Mm, they got a bad taste in their mouth. The tower done came down. They want nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. They feel the connection. But they want nothing to do with it. Talk to me about this five of swords. This is your energy fire. Talk to me about this five of swords. Seven of swords reversed. Mm, one more. Standing up, you're doing what's right. Communication, you want things to move, you want to communicate, you want to tell the truth. Oh. That changes things. Fire. Did some shady shit go down? I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not pointing fingers. But this splits the story a little bit. For some of you, it's going along like we were doing. For some of you, some shady shit went down. You had to come forward with the truth in a big hurry. And they ain't all about it. They ain't all about it at all. They ain't talking. One on the side priestess. One on the side priestess. The tower. Too many unknowns. Too many unknowns. The tower has fallen. The tower has fallen. Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, Empress. You want this to grow. You want your empress. Insert whatever sex works for you, okay? Pick your pronoun. Just throwing that out there. Pick your pronoun. I'm just reading cards. You want to fight for this. You want to return to this. You want what you want and you want it now and you're going to go after it. Nine of Wands, Shadow Side. They're drained. Nine of Wands. They're walled up. They're drained. One on the Shadow Side itself. One on the Shadow Side itself. They're ignoring your cup. They want nothing to do with it. <sighs> Nine of Swords. Like anxiety attack style, like toxic feelings, toxic emotions, toxic thoughts. Oh my goodness. The moon reverse. Secrets have been revealed. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. Let's get a moonology. I'm going to have to burn some sage before I read any more cards today. Holy cow. Holy cow, fire. Woo. Give me a moonology. Work through your fairs. Ah. Uh. Don't let pride get in your way. Show the world the real you. Okay, we'll take all three. Why not? Give me a wisdom. Give me a wisdom. Not for you. Co-create. Okay. 
They both came out. We'll take them all. I feel like I'm going to read longer than I read cards. New Moon and Scorpio, work through your fears. This card suggests rebirth. Think of your situ situation as a phoenix rising from the ashes as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark, almost certainly. Won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you're magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of sexier time. You've been experiencing something of a drought and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is a sign that likes to go deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Hold on a second. There's somebody knocking at the door. Good thing I'm almost done. The neighbor kid just got here. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. Where was I? Have you been letting pride get... Mm, have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? This is the question you're asking based on your ego. Or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good of, are the solution for this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would do as you would be done by, oh wow, lately, this is the time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of other people around you. This will help all your relationships. Mm. Mm, I had a feeling. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. This card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping it arm's length now, but it's not a bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if it, even if change seems like frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, you're being too, are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself and whatever is coming up for you. Not for you, number six. Number six is balance. Six comes after five, which is what comes after change. Okay, number six. one of my favorite cards, by the way. Oh my. Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them that is obvious from the beginning, but red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you're being protected by the divine. If you were the one who must reject another, remember that you do so for both sakes. For every pot, there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. Number 40, co-create. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you 
opening up new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You're looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You're going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art. Now, the embodiment of beauty. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, this has been your weekly. If I don't catch any of you before New Year's, have a safe, happy, healthy, and wonderful 2022. Let's make it a banging banner of a year, guys. Peace, love, and light. Be blessed.